I decided to make a video today or tonight <clears throat> it's going on eight o'clock according to our clock see my little skeleton up there and uh, so it's going eight o'clock at night I'm sitting in my main study kind of recovering from the day I finished in my August 2016 diary. I finished on today on page 708. Uh, so that's where I, I wrote three pages today. So tomorrow I'll be on page 709 if I'm still alive. So yeah, today uh, and last night, I've been reading this book of uh, Voler, Voder's Bastards, The Dictatorship of Reason in the West by John Ralston Saw. I don't know. I've just been looking at this. I, I've had this book for a long time, and I just get it out, and I just read it. It's very complex, but... It's kind of book that some books I just read to just it's like um, just what the word is mindless just reading it for the sake of reading it not totally comprehending what you're reading but so I've been reading that and I looked at this this evening I looked at that book I mentioned I got in the mail the the lunar men the friends who made the future by Jenny, Jenny Uglo. I ordered uh, her book on the biography of William Hogarth that I mentioned in my last video, the uh, 18th century painter and graver. Uh, he's one of the persons I've always been kind of interested in 18th century, William Hogarth. So I ordered her biography and I'm supposed to get that in the mail this week. Uh, what else? I went to a th some thrift stores uh, this morning. My wife and I had to do some errands and I went to Salvation Army and I found another volume of C.B. Snow, The Last Things in that series. I showed you a couple videos ago that he did Strangers and Brothers. Uh, it's a, like a, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven volumes in that series that C.P. Snow did, uh, Strangers and Brothers. And I didn't have this one. This is the last volume in that eleven volume series, The Last Things. Uh, I don't remember right now the ones I have, but so I found one I didn't have, which was kind of neat. I also found a hardback edition of Frank O'Connor's short stories. I had an old paperback. Uh, he, uh, he lived from 1903 and he died in 1966. Has been almost for 50 years, been recognized on both sides of the Atlantic as a master of the short story. He has drawn countless readers into the whole range of Irish life with his unconventional and perspective observation of the quirks of human behavior, his wiry sense of humor, and his compassion for human beings and their multiple and fascinating confusions and their essential loneliness. He moves from the exuberant, exuberant to the sad, from the touching to the hilarious, as he insinuates us, insinuates us, I can't even pronounce that word, us into his world of priests, publicans, doctors, soldiers, nuns, widows, blooming young lovers, and adultery, adultery, old couples, teachers, and children. Here are tales of men of war with themselves or one another, with their women, with the priests, tales of women yearning for nourishing and mourning their loved ones, tales of children trying to come to grips with the intricate, intricate, intricacies of adult behavior. Uh, yeah, once in a while I like to read short stories and so I pull out like Frank O'Connor. 
He's a kind of famous short story writer. I found a short novel by James Welch, Winter in the Blood. He's considered an American Indian writer. I read uh, last year his book, I think it was called Fool's Crow. And uh, so this is a short novel by James Welch, Winter in the Blood. So I found that and I found this novel by this uh, Cuban writer who now is living in exile in Paris. Most of her books have not been translated into English, but I did notice that she has one coming out in English translation this year. But this one came out, this is her novel, her name is Zhu Voice. Uh, I Gave You All I Had. It's been translated out of Spanish by Nada Benabib. Can't pronounce it. But I found this. This came out in 1999. I'm always, I like translations, Japanese, German, French, Spanish. Uh, Hebrew, so I found that today. And what else did I find? Uh, I think that was all I found. I only found four. Oh, I know I found. I found at the Salvation Army Vengeance. This is a uh, uh, like a crime detective novel by Benjamin Black. Benjamin Black is a pen name for John Bainfield, who was a British writer. He's won the Booker Prize. But he does a series of crime detective novels. This is the one, Vengeance. I have his one, The, the Silver Swan by him, Benjamin Black. And I have his A Death in Summer by Benjamin Black. And I have his Christine Falls, a novel by Benjamin Black. Uh, I read uh, last year his novel, the uh, I forgot, I think it was The Sea, The Sea, something like that. But I haven't read these, but I collect them. So I found one I didn't have, which was kind of cool. So yeah, and today uh, when I was downstairs looking for something, I found uh, this novel by J.G. Bollard. I forgot. I've been looking for this. This is his novel, Crash. Uh, in this hallucinate, hallucinary novel, the car provides the hellish t taboo in which uh, Vaninen, a TV scientist, turned nightmare angel of the highways, experiments with erotic atrocities among auto crash, crash victims, each more sinister than the last. James Bollard, his friend and fellow obsessives, tell the story of this twisted visionary as he careens rapidly towards his own demise and intentionally orchestrated car crash with Elizabeth Taylor. An underground classic, Crash explores the disturbing potentialities of contemporary society's increasing dependence on technology as an intermediary interminary in human relations. Uh, I'm still looking for his, I have his novel here, The Empire of the Sun. I'm looking for it, Ballard's novel, Concrete Island. I don't have that one. Maybe this coming Friday, there's a big book sale here in town and maybe I'll find one of his I don't have. Also, uh, mentioning about Vol Voltaire, I have Voltaire's uh, Philosophy Dictionary, translated introduction and glossary by Peter Gay. I just thought I'd show it to you. I have all kinds of odd books in our library, and uh, I'm always looking at books for on the 18th century. That's why I was reading that book on Oliver Goldsmith, and why I ordered that book on William Go uh, Hogarth. Uh, I like 19th century, 18th century, 19th century, 20th century. I like reading uh, about 
writers and the literary life and those seen in those time periods historically. That's why I'm reading this. This is, takes place in the 18th century, but this is among uh, inventors, scientists, experimenters. But I like reading about the 18th century. So that's what's going on here. Uh, as far as what's on my desk, I still have this book here, God Has Spoken in His Son, A Biblical Theology of Hebrews by Peter O'Brien. And I'm still reading, you know, I'm reading the Bible. But, you know, right now I'm kind of like, I'm kind of out of it spiritually. I'm just kind of like, I can't get into anything in the mornings. And so I just sit in the presence of God. And that's what I do. I just sit in the presence of God in the cloud of unknowing. So I'm hoping you're having a good week. And till next time, uh, maybe I'll wait until I have that book sale. I do want to do a video on my John Barth collection. I might do that, or I might do a collection on my uh, sets of history of Christian spirituality and systematic theology, or maybe look at the, the 17th century writings of the Puritan John Flavel. I don't know. We'll see. So, until next time, bye.